everyone, I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty and welcome to Floss Tube 133. Today is July the 1st, 2023. And Stryker is also with us and Winston is right there on the couch. We're out camping in Western North Carolina um, in the mountains and we're having a heat wave. Mm, yeah, so if I look a little poofy and humid, yeah. But anyway, happy 4th of July, a little bit early. Uh, we celebrated today with a big barbecue and a duck race and cornhole and tournament and a, a ladder ball tournament, which we call monkey golf or hillbilly golf up here in the mountains. Um, what else did we do? I believe that's about it. Oh, we had bingo last night, but I didn't do that. But anyway, it was fun, <clears throat> and we always have a good time. And anyway, I would like to welcome everyone that has watched my video. I couldn't believe how many views I had about StitchCon. I hope you've come back. I hope you find something you enjoy. I stitch a lot of different things. Uh, you may see samplers. You may see little cute things. You may see uh, Biscor News. You may see uh, needle books. You could see just about anything here except full coverage. I don't do hay designs because I would like to finish them sometime. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I just want to thank everyone, especially the ones that keep coming back for more punishment week after week after week. <laughs> but um, happy 4th of July. And now let's get started. I have no fully finished objects this week. I was planning on having some, but I got a little bit behind on my summer cross stitch project and I want my summer cross stitch camp project with Colorado cross stitcher and I really, really wanted to finish it. So I did have a finish on that and oh dear, and I thought I was so organized. I was doing so well. And then what happened? Um, hold that thought. I found it. <clears throat> okay. You think you're ready, and then you're not ready. I mean, what gives with that? But anyway, um, the Tricks or Treat book from Blackbird Designs was the one I decided to do for Summer Cross Stitch Camp. This is, uh, the theme this month for June was, or last month for June was, do something with a bird in it. So, I picked Tricks or Treat. So, you're gonna look at this chart. I did not put the date in. I also um, put another couple of motifs in that were not there and took out a couple because I made a mistake. And if I had taken it out, I would not have finished because I waited until the last possible minute to stitch my summer cross stitch piece and I underestimated you know once again we figure out that oh you know it's like I can do that in no time yeah right but anyway this is on Laura's fabrics um I want to say it's like banana popsicle if I'm not mistaken I may be wrong but I lost the tag but anyway um I changed the pattern up I didn't want to put the date in and when I put the word tricks in it was just off and I was gonna have to rip out half the pattern I was like that's not going to be happening. So this is like a 
change of things. And I did not use the Juniper of Wig Style Works. I used a DMC, I think it's um, 3328, I think is what I used. Let me look. 3362 is what I used, DMC. And uh, after I had gotten it started, I found my Juniper, but oh well. But anyway, <clears throat> I used two strands over two. I tried one strand on the 32 count linen and I just wasn't real happy with it. So you see, I left out a couple of things and put a couple of things in, but I like my little bird and uh, it was fun to do. And I changed up a few things, which is not like me, but necessity is the mother of invention. <laughs> so it's two strands over two on 32 count linen banana popsicle from Morris Fabrics. And I got this fabric last year at Galleria. <clears throat> I had never heard of Morris Fabrics and I thought, hmm, give it a try. I really like it. It's a soft linen. Um, it's, it's not weepy, but it's not really, really hard either. So, um, but anyway, this is a great little book and I got this finished at like, hmm, it was late, late last night. So anyway, um, I suggest you get this. It's got all these little patterns in there. Just a great, great um, stitch. So we're on to July. In July, you're supposed to do something that grows. And when I was camping, I did not pack what I was going to work on. So it will be a surprise next week. Something to look forward to. <clears throat> all right. Now we're going to talk about June Whip Go. And Whip Go is a challenge done by Jessie Marie Does Stuff. It was started by her, and every month she calls out two bingo numbers because you have a bingo card that you can either make or she has a PDF file that you can download. And it just helps you finish your works in progress or whips. So this month she actually called the free space and some people use the free space, some people don't. This year I decided I was gonna be just really industrious and use the free space. And then when they call it, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so anyway, um, I will get to that in just a minute. But our June whip go was, um, what do I have next? Oh, I see. Okay. Coming to America, number three. Okay. <clears throat> no, she called that number four, but I had to trade them right here because I still have not found Mary Clayton. I don't know where she went to. She might have just sailed off on the May Mayflower. Who knows? But anyway, I now dropped my pattern. Uh, this is by Brenda Gervais. It's, a, ugh, it's an exclusive um, that probably will never be released from what I gather. And I got the kit and I ordered the 36 count linen and this was the Vintage Country Mocha and I stitched five days on this was my goal and it's two, it's one strand over two threads. And the part where it says Cape Cod and the fish and that cross and the words Cape Cod that's all I got done in five days. I took it kind of slow and then it was called, oh, let's take this out. I took it slow, oh, let's take this out. So there you go. This was not a very productive week because of um, having to, <clears throat> you know, do, but I did do the five days and I kind of sporadically um, stitched throughout the month on this one. So, um, but this was a busy month. So anyway, I do enjoy the 36 count. And after I get past the Cape Cod, this will be a lot easier. And you might want to see a picture of it that might be helpful. Okay. <clears throat> and it uses DMC, Weeks Dye Works, and Gentle Arts fabrics. Here we go. And this is what it's gonna look like. So it's a big one. See, I'm way up here and I got all this to do. Oh, yippee, yippee. My ship is sailing. And I don't think it's gonna run aground again for a while because um, I really enjoy this. It's, it's, I just wanted to keep stitching on it because I wanna get it done. It probably won't be done in time for Thanksgiving, but oh well, there's always next year. <clears throat> 
Okay, so that was the five days. So we will mark off coming to America. All right. And then the next one was friend stitch. I was supposed to stitch on that for five days. And friend stitch is a collaboration between um, Bent Creek and um, Heart and Hand. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you get up here and you just kind of forget everything. And, uh, yeah, it was on the back. And here's my fall uh, collaboration from them, Let Joy In, from an autumn gathering. These were Zoom retreats during COVID. And uh, this one's on 28 count uh, linen. And it's... Vintage Country Mocha. It's it's a it's a thing this week. Okay, and I stitched five days, and this is what I've got done. I had the crow and and a couple of the houses up top, and part of the house on the bottom. So I didn't get a lot lot done, but that's a lot of stitching with the fence and everything, and the birds and the tree. So, but I'm pleased with my progress on that one, and it's two strands over two. <clears throat> And uh, this one will probably rest for a little while. Um, I enjoy stitching on it, but I've got other things I need to finish. So, yet again, we're going to uh, mark out another block. Okay. So, here's what I've got so far. All right. So, this month, Jessie Marie called out number 13. If the shoe fits is what I put on here and I want to finish. Now, all I lack on this one are just beads, and I think that's it. I really, really do, um, because I put all the metallic stitches on, and I really, really like this one. This is by Ruby Slipper Designs, and this is an old one. <laughs> um, there you go. If the shoe fits, and I think I've only seen this like one time. And this used a lot of different um, fibers. It uses Karen Water Karen Water Lilies Molten Lava, and this is a sample of what it looks like. Hot mess, of course. You know, it's my thread here. And then the Rainbow Gallery Treasure Braid. There you go. Um, then we had some Arctic Rays, Wispy Fringe. Isn't that pretty? And we also have <clears throat> Chronic, um, these two colors, like a goldy, like a bronze, and maybe a purple. So, and then we've got beads. Lots and lots of beads. Yeah. I'll just hold it up here. Lots of beads. Okay. Um, but anyway, so I get to put these beads on, and this is on, ooh, and I bought the call for fabric too, so what is it? Um, 28 count watercress by Witchell fabric, and this is on 28 count, um, like I just said, oh dear, <laughs> I think I had too much lunch or something. Okay, if the shoe fits, get the hat to match. Isn't that pretty? So all I gotta do is put some beads on here. I could just say, oh, it's finished, but I wanna get all the snazzy little beads on the shoes and things so it'll sparkle. So anyway, this will be real cute for my piano students to look at and my friends when they come to my house in the fall. And it's two strands over two, except for the chronic. Um, that was just one strand. And it's got, um, uh, let me think. Um, well, I'm not going to go into, into what all it's got. But anyway, it's got a lot. <laughs> so, um, I'll be doing some stuff with that. So, hopefully that will be a finish since there's not much of it. Then, she called out number nine. And this I had picked 
Boo from the Halloween Trio. I've been working on this, and everybody's going to go, I can't believe she's working on a cat. But I thought it was so cute. There was an owl, a cat, and a bat. And I thought, well, I'll start with the cat. And then next, I'll probably do the bat or the owl. I'm not sure which. But anyway, this one's on a piece of very stiff uh, natural linen. And it's 28 count. And I'm using two strands over two. And I'm working on the fence. Right now, it looks like a bunch of tombstones. But I need the fence, the moon, and a couple of bats, and a border. So I, I need a good bit. And this one is going to be a finish. Better get busy. Better not wait till the end of the month to, to go doing this one because there's a lot of stuff. Because this one's an oldie boo goodie. I think I've had this one in my stack since before COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, anyway. But, yeah, that's um, going to be a fun, fun thing to finish and work on. All right. Then next I have... <clears throat> Oops, we lost somebody. Let me put this back because I might need that. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, next we have, and it's, you'll think it's a new start, okay? Because I have nothing on my natural count linen, okay? All right. But I'm supposed to work for five days on one of my all occasion monthly patterns. And this is the one where I chose the year of celebrations um, from Hands On Design. This is the first year, not the second year. Now, if you notice, I've gotten down to July, I think. Maybe I am on July. Anyway. I'll have to go home and look at the ones I've FFO'd. Um, I think I'm on July, but if not, I'll do August. And I can't show you the pattern, uh, but I will do this. Um, yeah, I have not done July, so I'll be working on July. In July. And there's August. So if I finish this in five days, which is doubtful, I'll work on this one. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. And I've got this beautiful bag to put it in that um, Tracy made me at StitchCon and gave to me with this beautiful fob, which I showed you at the StitchCon thing. I mean, everybody was just so nice. So I really, really was excited about that. Okay, <clears throat> so that's what I'll be working on for WhipGo for next month. All right, and those numbers were 9, 13, and 21. And if you don't do whip go, it really does help you finish things or at least work on a bunch of, you know, works that you have in progress. So, anyway, so now let's talk about the um, free pattern or freebie. Okay, <clears throat> this one is uh, from Stitching Book Club. And this one's called Blackbird Singing in the Dead of Night, Take These Broken Wings and Learn to Fly. And, oops, this is on her Facebook, and I will put the link below. And you could do it in black or whatever color you want to do, purple and with a blackbird, you know, orange riding with a blackbird, it doesn't really matter. But I thought that would be a, a nifty pattern uh, for everybody to do. Okay, <clears throat> then also, um, Stitching Book Club is releasing the Anne of Green Gables Stitch Along. And she started the kit sale today. I went on the Etsy shop, though, and I did not see it. So I'm assuming the kit is sold out. Drat. But the pattern goes on sale July the 8th. And you can do the stitch along, and she's doing it like on a light yellow cloth uh, fabric. And uh, if you haven't checked out Stitching Book Club, you need to check those out. She's done Jane Austen, Little Women. Last year, I think it was the Haunted Mansion, and it was a very, very popular sale or stitch along. So uh, be sure and check that out. <clears throat> and excuse me. And you know, last month I, or last week, I told you I would do giveaways. Can you believe I forgot? <laughs> I 
I'm telling you. But today I remembered because thank you, thank you, subscribers. I have almost 1,400. Yeah, I've gotten so many subscribers in the past uh, couple of weeks and views. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you'll stop by again. Okay, so next we're going to talk about uh, <clears throat> the uh, featured Etsy designer. And after that, we'll do the giveaways. So, <clears throat> our featured Etsy designer this, uh, this time is... Um, Wonderland hand dyed fabrics dot or is Wonderland ugh, Wonderland hand dyed dot com. Okay, and you go on their website, and one of the giveaways today is going to be uh, from Wonderland hand dyed fabrics is going to be a fat eight 16 count eight a mock turtle. Is that not just gorgeous? She gave me this at uh, StitchCon. She gave out samples, and I thought this would be very nice to share with my viewers. But I really, really think this is beautiful. She also will dye floss to match. So I'm gonna throw in the hand-dyed uh, floss also. It's called Donna's Ball of String Hand-Dyed Floss, and the colorway is Mock Turtle. And she will custom dye things for you. <clears throat> now, one of the things, um, it says um, she has ready-to-ship fabrics and flosses, or she will custom dye fabrics and floss colorways. And she'll work with you one-on-one -on -one to create the colorway that best suits your needs and project goals. And she requires a down payment of half before she uh, begins the work to make sure that you take it. And then she's got new colorways, and she's got ideas. Feel free to let her know. Some of the ones she has, because it's Wonderland, everything has to do with Alice in Wonderland. She has an Alice Blue Variegated, a Nonsense Gray Blue Variegated, and Poor Bill Lime Green Variegated. These are all ready to ship fabrics as of today. There's some. Look at that green. Every time I see green, I think about Ronnie and Gary of the sun, of the, of the, uh, Garon Stitchery. They have a floss tube, and I'm telling you, they are just really something. And the wall behind them is just covered in beautiful, beautiful stitching. And they also do retreats, and you need to go on and watch their um, videos so you can see when the next retreat is that they have, and it's going to be in Alabama. Okay, they also have Frankly Orange. I got in a rabbit trail, didn't I? Wonderland Hand Dyed Fabrics has Frankly Orange, Frankly Purple, and Frankly Pink. Isn't that a beautiful pink and a beautiful orange? And I've noticed that oranges are very hard to find. And then they have Purple Paint Splatter, 16 Count Ada, Pink Himalayan Salt, 14 Count, Pink Himalayan Salt, 32 Count Lugana, Look, Through the Looking Glass, uh, they've got it in 14 Count, and Papyrus, and I know I'm going to say this wrong. Serena Padam Emerald, whatever. But she's got this. And she's just the sweetest, sweetest person. And I thought she was very nice to give us those things. Um, <clears throat> so, um, anyway, uh, be sure and check her out. I will link her below. And you can give her a call or email her and, uh, you know, talk to her about what you want okay so now we will go to the giveaways okay um the first giveaway um is the mock turtle and the floss and you need to say the word turtle turtle okay oh excuse me the next giveaway is where's my list oh beach dance by Lindy Stitches, and this is a gently used pattern that somebody sent me. Okay, that's number two, and you need to say the word beach. The third one is a kit from Pine Mountain Designs, and it's very patriotic, and I thought this would be very fitting. It's Liberty 
July Liberty and uh, you just make a pillow and then you fix it and it's all you do is stitch on this Ada and you just tie it on and poof well I say it's Ada it's um oh yeah well anyway I think it's 14 count but I, I can't remember but it's got the floss, it's got the whole thing, and all you do is make a pill form, tie it on it, and you're done. You gotta finish, instant finish. And you need to say the word Liberty. The next pattern is from Praiseworthy Stitches, and this is called Sandcastle Bay. <clears throat> and it says, sand, pails, and seashells, and moats, well, it says something else too. Castles and moats, seagulls and whales, picnics and boats. And there's what this one looks like. And you need to say the word bay, B-A-Y, bay. The next one was given to me at Galleria last year by the Nebby Needle. And this is Quirky Quaker Sampler. She is, Bonnie is just so, so nice. Uh, I just couldn't get over how nice all the designers were and how giving they were. And she was especially generous. And this is the Nebby, from the Nebby Needle. And this is Quirky Quaker Sampler. Say the word Quaker. We better not do Quirky. I don't even know if I could spell that. Quaker. Isn't that pretty? All right. And then next, we have another Americana pattern. This is from Falling Star Primitives, and it's called Lucy Blackwell, My America. And it says, Lucy Blackwell, God bless America, my home sweet home. It's a sort of a sampler kind of thing. And just say the word America. Alright. And the last one is Llama Lump from Plum Street Samplers. And this one's a stack of llamas, or maybe I should say a lump of llamas. And we're going to say the word lump because it's easier to spell than llama. <laughs> okay, so you need to be 18 or over so I can get your address to mail you the pattern. You uh, can be anywhere in the United States or around the world uh, because it's been a while since I've done a giveaway. If you are outside the United States, for some reason, the post office now wants your phone number for delivery. So, um, to keep me from having to um, um, email you back and forth, if I announce you as the winner, I will ask for your phone number. But I won't give it out, and I won't be calling you. I really won't. And they probably won't either, but just in case they can't find you. Um... And then don't say the word giveaway, prize, free, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> just, um, you know, we're sharing these things because y'all are such good, loyal subscribers, and I really appreciate you. Please be a subscriber. Please like the video and answer this question. What did you do today, or what are you doing for the 4th of July? Okay. So, uh, it doesn't have to be today, just sometime this week. But anyway, um, I don't know what kind of plans I'm going to do, except I'm going to work on Whip Go early, because I do not want to mess up. Uh, I will tell you that uh, I should be expecting, a, well, I'm not, but my daughter is expecting uh, my newest granddaughter in a couple of weeks. They've moved her date up, so uh, we're really, really excited if she even waits that long. So, there may be a little lull where I, I don't have a video, and that would be why. But I'll try to notify you on Instagram. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And uh, Winston and Stryker said, uh, we'll see you later. And be sure and stitch all the things. It doesn't matter how many whips you have. It doesn't matter if you finish everything. Just do what makes you happy. Okay? I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.